Hello, Internet! I'm Hamster Bomb, and you guys are back for another one of these uh, vlog update videos. I got some information for you guys really quick on uh, new stuff coming to the channel. Also, I have three packages in front of me I gotta open for you guys, two of which are gonna be games really quick, just to let you guys know that they're here. And one of them is a mysterious package um, from, it's probably gonna be inside, and I don't, I, I, I got a good idea who it is, but I don't wanna like, you know, say it and thank the wrong person before I even open the darn box. So, anyway. Um, exciting stuff coming to the channel really quick. I just want to let you guys know because the shorter this video, the better chance of me getting a chance to live stream today because my internet is terrible. So hopefully I'm going to be able to get this out really quickly. So um, Monster Hunter World episode versions of what we got to do during the live stream are coming up on the channel now. Um, those are going to be, for now, they're Tuesday, Saturdays. I'm looking this way because I got my schedule of everything written down up here. So it's going to be Tuesday, Saturdays for a while. I'm thinking about coming back on. We're going to do some more Monster Hunter live streams while I have my service up. And we're going to try and just do like a bunch of different hunts that are not going to be turned into episodes. So it's just me playing with you guys, which is kind of what we did before, but more people get the cycle in, hopefully. So um, those are obviously, I play on the PS4 just to let you guys know in case you play on PC and you're not able to do it. At the very least, you can watch and join us. So uh, keep an eye out for more Monster Hunter World streams and the episodes coming out soon. Um, also, there is another new series that I have also started live streaming, which is MMZR, which is Mario Metroid Zelda Randomizer, all Super Nintendo games randomized together. It's so awesome. I'm obsessing over this game. It's so much fun. And um, I have been turning the live streams I've done with you guys into episodes as well. And those are coming up. Actually, the first pilot of that has already launched uh, just a couple days ago. And it is going to be a Thursday-Sunday series. So we're going to get those twice a week as well as Monster Hunter World twice a week. We're back on a video every single day again. Woo! Okay, that's all I need to get out of the way. In terms of the new schedule stuff, I'm really excited about all that. And there honestly may be some more uh, videos I have coming up in the future, but regardless for right now, I'm just going to start opening up some of these packages. This first one here is actually a little different. This is, wow, a sticker list. That's odd. Uh, an emerald copy. This better be a legitimate copy, because if this is not, this probably won't work. Um, but regardless... Um, this actually is a different kind of request. I've had a couple people ask me this in the past. This is the first one I've actually done. Um, where basically uh, you guys have asked me before because you've seen my shiny hunt I've done with Mew. Um, is it possible, sort of like the Cute Charm service, to send in a GBA game, have me do the same thing I did to my copy of Emerald in order to get me onto, I believe, it is, is it Birth Island, the name of it? Um, where you can shiny hunt, no, far away island, in order to shiny hunt Mew. And, um, in or because birth was Deoxys. I just did that one more recently, so that's why I was a little confused there. So, um, in order to get them to that island, and, um, we have to, like, kind of work out something different. Obviously, it's not the same as the cute charm thing, but it's still, like, a donation to the channel in order to get this done. So, I was like, okay, so this one it has arrived. The emerald is here. I'm a little concerned about the stickerless thing because it's, like, totally clean. It's not like it was, like, taken off or something. I don't know. Maybe it was. I don't know. But anyway, this other one here I got is uh, there's no note inside. Hopefully there's one actually inside the disc. Um, oh, well, there is indeed. This is a Pokemon Platinum copy. I'm going to be cute charming. Um, I would like to know the uh, name for here. So hopefully there's a letter inside that I get to read for you guys. Um, sometimes people send me, write something in here like halfway through. It's like, please don't read this on video. <laughs> write that first if you really don't want me to do that. Uh, hey, Alex, sent you a version of Heart Gold. I would like to... Oh, just kidding. Heart Gold. Better choice, in my opinion. Even though, technically, I think Platinum will have more Pokemon total. You'll get more Pokemon total way in post-game. It, it's like, if you want to, like, have fun playing through the series, I had way more fun playing, like, the game part of Harkle. There's more content to the game part. Whatever. Sorry, I can never read a note. Um, into a Q-Charm game. My PayPal is blah, blah, blah. My email is blah, blah, blah. Um, I love your videos and keep up the awesome work. P.S. I love to see a Q-Charm style 5th or 6th gen game. That's another interesting thing that you just pointed out there, uh, Chris. Um, because that was something we were talking about doing on live streams, trying to figure out how are we going to get this thing working. I believe, uh, Girl Without a Fairy, I believe we were trying to figure out a way to get this to function, and I think you said there was some way I could do that if you helped me, like, step-by-step -step jailbreak my own 3DS capture card. And honestly, since I don't know any series I'm going to be using with my capture card after Platinum Q Charm is over, um, as soon as Q Charm is done, and I'm positive with that, then I might try doing it, and we'll see if we can get this functioning for other series. Because honestly, it might be five, six, maybe even seven. We have to see. I'm not sure yet, but just keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully everything works out. Uh, and sorry about the poop handwriting. It's okay, Chris. I could clearly read it, and I am hardcore dyslexic. 
Um, my return address is blah, blah, blah. Thank you for including that in here. That is very helpful because sometimes I like misplace envelopes and I have to email people back and make sure that I send things to the correct address. And sometimes people actually want me to send something to a different address than what was written on the package, which is a little strange. Now, anyway, uh, time-wise, we're st wow, I am doing record time today. Normally, I take like 30 minutes in these stinking blog videos and I just won't shut up. Um, so I'm, and I had a lot to say, honestly, but I blew through it. I didn't like stop and say, I'm so excited about this, this new Pokemon thing I'm doing, or I'm going to use this new series. Um, so, <laughs> that's how I talk, by the way. Um, so anyway, this box suspiciously says Amazon Prime, which is what's really strange, um, because as far as I know right now, I, it doesn't tell me who sent this. I have absolutely no idea. Um, but, um, as far as I know... Um, I am assuming it was, I shouldn't even guess, because it would be rude if it, I open it up and it's not, you know, because, anyway, I'm just going to open this up, um, and I kind of want you guys to be able to see it at the same time I do. Um, oh my gosh, <laughs> I love this, okay, I, I just said that, and of course I screwed it up already, because the box is big, okay, you see what I'm seeing here already? This is awesome, I need this on my desk all the time, you see this? <laughs> it's a bob bomb. Oh my god, that is so great. I love Mario stuff. Actually, no, I really like the MMZR too. We had like a new um, little bob -omb. Oh, they even like gradated the fuse like it's like about to be lit or something. He's gonna sit up here. Obviously, once I get him out of the wrapping, but thank you so much. That's so cool. I need a, I need a note first. Um, oh, is this it? Or is this it? Or is, or is this it? There's a note for... Wait, there's, there's three notes in here. Oh, they wrote this multiple times. Yes, I was correct about the name. This is from Exotic Keeper. Thank you so much, Exotic Keeper. I was going to say it before I opened the box, and I was like, but what if by weird chance somebody else sent something at the same time? And I didn't check it. it had been, I'd have been so embarrassed, so hopefully, I, glad that didn't happen. Um, so they, I think they printed the same note twice, and then there is another link for something else over there. So anyway, uh, Kanichiwa Hamtaro. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if uh, they uh, all sent in the same box. Um, yes, there is something else uh, in here as well. It's in this bag, and I have not opened this as, as of yet. There's another note stuck to it. Um, so we'll get to that in a second. Um, uh, but hope these also help. Uh, P.S. Sorry, I had to send a bomb this time. <laughs> as you thought the last one was. Exotic Keeper. <laughs> Cheers. Oh my gosh, you guys are hilarious. I saw that, I was like, oh my god, because I was thinking just hamster bomb. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so funny. But no, I was actually kidding before. I was like, yeah, I think I went on a tangent in um, the last one I'd opened, uh, where I was like, you know, I always get like this nervous thing, and we're like, you know, I could open something really bad. But since this one was like sealed by Amazon, obviously I wasn't like concerned at all, but still, there was a bomb inside. So ha 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 ha, though. Um, I'm much happier having like a hamster bomb style thing now on my desk, which is awesome. Also Mario themed at the same time. So I'm kind of confused about what this guy is. There's like an Amazon thing in there that would spoil it. I don't want to see that. Um, yeah, and a different note, which also would spoil it. So I don't want to see that. This is like a box. It feels like. I have no idea what this is. And uh, I'm going to open it in just a second. I just want to move this massive box out of the way. Um... Why does Amazon do this? They get a box this big. Well, to be fair, one thing was a plush toy inside. But they put this much of the packing air inside, and you're like, what were you thinking? Because, I mean, if there's, like, actual, like, technology or something in here, I'm always like, guys, stop it. <laughs> you're going to ruin it. Uh, I've had many things break because, wow, um, that is a sturdy bag. Uh, because Amazon decided to um, package something really stupidly. All right, I'm gonna open this in a way that you guys see first, because I know y'all more excited. Well, actually, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm probably more excited than you are, but still, y'all excited. I want to make sure you guys can see this. What is this? Uh, next game controller. Oh my gosh, we were just talking about this. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Is this the USB one too? Oh, this is so neat. Okay, so um, clearly you must be watching MMZR, where we were just talking about how um. Man, this is weird. Everything is coming back that I tried to, like, quickly talk about in the beginning of this. Where uh, my game controller, I'm going to show you because it's right here. I even pl unplugged the darn thing. I'm using this, which worked fine for The Witcher, um, which other PC stuff I've done. Um, but the problem is you can kind of see this at an angle. 
when I push my D-pad in other directions, the whole thing moves, which made, like, Shovel Knight, for example, like, impossible to play. Because Shovel Knight, you gotta, like, up and a special in order to get, like, a different item to be used or something like that. And, like, ugh. These controllers would solve this. This is the correct controller to use for those games. And honestly, this is going to sound really weird, sacrilegious. I've never actually gotten to use one of these myself. Though, the D-pad's going to fix it so much more. And plus, the buttons actually being in the correct location. Believe me, this drives me nuts. Because this one's kind of styled more off like an Xbox. Where you can kind of see the A, B, X, Y is actually like kind of flipped. It's a little inverted. It's so confusing. I made sure I did it right. I scripted the buttons correctly based on where they're supposed to be on this controller so i wanted to do this one right oh this is so neat this is so neat i want to open it up right now and it's like oh yes i can just hold these oh so there's actually two of them there's the 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 purple and the uh color version oh my gosh come on come on come here oh man yes and they go straight to usb that is so neat oh actually no they're they're both um the purple one which is actually kind of cool those are the ones i'm used to seeing all oh, this Oh, that feels so much better. I can already tell you that feels so much better. I've um, taken controllers apart in the past, um, and I can tell you when they're built well, this is so much better. It, they don't actually use like a spring. This is what I'm feeling. Um, they don't really use a spring. That I can feel it's an individual button. It's actually like this piece of rubber that when you push it down, it like kind of pops, pop, 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 pop like that. So it like still softly hits the button on the inside. Oh, this feels so much better. The, Thank you so much, Exotic Keeper. This is so cool. You actually, um, you're the controller guy at this point, right? Because uh, last time uh, I was <laughs> complaining in Smash Brothers because I was getting Death by Joy-Con, which, like, when I get friends over um, and I let them play with my GameCube controller, I have a couple others, but I'm like, I'm going to try the Joy-Con again and play against them. I get more Death by Joy-Con. I'm like, ah, where I've become spoiled now to how great it is playing with... Um, Smash Brothers with a GameCube controller. But anyway, regardless, this is so cool. Thank you so much, uh, Exotic Keeper. I'm definitely going to get this ready uh, for the next live stream. I'm going to, like, show everybody and talk about how ex exciting this is. Um, fortunately, you stopped me because um, before I got too far into the series because this is going to be a long series. MMZR, there's a lot of crazy stuff that's going to happen. And as of right now, Link has still got no sword and has not beaten a single boss. So, there's going to be a lot more to it. Link is still pretty darn useless in there. This is still hilarious. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted, like I said, I want to make sure this is as short a video as possible so I have a chance to live stream today, either Monster Hunter or MMZR. I don't know. I have to see if I can get these all set up and working. Plus, i got some cute drawing games to do. I have a lot to do. A lot. Oh, and I have stuff for the school class thing. Everyone's comic is due, and i got to do online stuff. So, everything in every which direction, and I'm still pointing. But regardless, thank you so much to Exotic Keeper, and I'm gonna get uh, your guys' game sent back to you as well as soon as possible. Um, I do cycle these like about once a week, so these came in last, uh, let me see, so these should probably be in the mail at least early uh, next week, so either like Monday or Tuesday. Uh, it depends on uh, my schedule of when I'm gonna be out there, and also when Kim's off, because we gotta coordinate things to get to the post office. So anyway, that is all the time I have for this video. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, big thanks to Exotic Keeper, and uh, okay, gosh, what was... What's the, what's the, what's the end of the outro thing? I, I don't have time for it. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>